I start looking a couple of words about myself in the organization I'm presenting. I'm MC Jail, Vice President with Business of Technology, and heading the business development in India. So this organization called Newton Software is a unique in itself in the sense it started in 92, it's for 22 years now, and it's the only organization from India, in fact not only from India, but from the whole of Asia and the continent, which is on Gartner's magic quadrant. And we currently operate in 57 countries. It was started by two IITs from Chennai, Asua and Madras. And uh, uh, the company is based out of Delhi. We are government centers in Delhi, Chennai, Bangalore, Mumbai, and Hyderabad. You know, uh, we've got over 1,500 installations currently worldwide. And one of the most important moments you see is LIC of India. That is the world's largest deployment for BMS and workflow. We currently have about 12 billion electronic documents used by over 150,000 people. Massive. And very, very proud that uh, you know we did it for our clients. We are also, you know, um, into imaging, which is uh, ultimately is to converting the face of people like what it was in, meeting the world standards, for which Newgen has 42 patents on imaging and workflow. And proud to say we are the only organization having, you know, the patent rights for imaging in India. Uh, having said that, you know, uh, one of the flagship products that we recently launched is on screen marking, which is directly affecting most of you in this room for education. Just a little background on, on this uh, product. There are two reasons why this product is today. <coughs> one is, you know, uh, number of students are increasing day by day. Number of teachers that we need in the country, we know how shortfall we have for teachers and professors. Manually managing the entire process of uh, uh, education and examination system is, is very clumsy. Therefore, IT comes in and helps out the government. That's one reason why this is. Second is, uh, a couple of years back, and this leads to compliance. There was a case, uh, you know, which was actually goes in Kolkata High Court where a student went to the board, it was the standard CBSC, and wanted a copy of his answer script because he was not happy with that result even after revaluation. And it was upheld by, uh, you know, um, Kolkata High Court that he should be given a copy of marked answer scripts. That was challenged the Supreme Court, and in 2012, the Supreme Court agreed that all universities and the education board and institution must provide a copy of answer scripts on demand. And that actually forced many of the institutions and universities and the board look at how could they actually meet this compliance. It's not easy. You know, I was in uh, um, Allahabad a couple of weeks back, and in the UP Education Board, 62 lakhs students appear every year. And each one appears for six or six. You can imagine the volume they have to process. And if they need to preserve it physically, those papers for years together, it is a lot of work. It takes effort, it costs a lot of money, and you're still not sure. After all, anything can happen. There could be flood, there could be fire, there could be natural calamities. You could lose those papers. But 
we are obliged to follow what the Supreme Court has said. If there is a request from the student, we will have to oblige. That's what is that. And that's another reason why this came into existence, whereby all the tips are converted into electronic orders. Digitization or scanning, as we call them, we convert those physical papers into electronic versions, make it available to you, a click of mouse, and just print it and give it. Of course, there are challenges, there are standards to be maintained, and time, which is a huge, huge constraint in this particular vertical. Most of the exams from starting to <coughs> the published, usually, usually there's a window of about 45 to 60 days. When we start the question for the exams, if we publish the job. This small window every year. In the most universities and the, you know, the techniques, they follow annual system. But professional universities follow semester system. No one told even the education board that started following the system. So that's the background why this whole process of on screen marking and persistence. Of course, there are other reasons. But these are two main reasons I want to share with you. Look at the actual product, what really happens. We have taken it to the next level. It's not merely converting those papers into electronic versions anymore. It actually helps you, after the exam is conducted, the assessment that you undertake to today by the teachers, professors, lecturers, on physical papers, that actually is replaced by computer software. The assessment happens on computer itself, no more dealing with paper. So it's not converting these papers into electronic versions after for the fourth factor, you convert beforehand. Immediately after exam is conducted, collect all the papers, convert them into electronic copies, and provide it to the community, the teachers, assessors, on computer itself. So there's no actual evaluation on computer and not on physical paper anymore. So that's how products have. There are many advantages of doing that. One of them, the most critical, is errors, manual errors, human errors are eliminated. Second is result compilation. Moment a teacher marks a paper as done, result is ready. You don't have to wait for result to be compiled anymore. No more data entry. System will record the mark automatically. You know, in your uh, kits, there's a brochure in, in all of you uh, which you can look at. This tells you the whole story, how it really happened. But just because of, so I only have 10 minutes, I'll just share only the bullet points, and then we can discuss it. This is how it all happens. In five steps. We complete it done. We collect all those scripts. Of course, there's a mechanism to reconcile and compile those and the scripts. You know, uh, otherwise it goes off the story. We have to take into consideration attendance, for exams versus the physical papers that we receive. And then what we do is we convert them into electronic versions by scanning, make it available on computers. And evaluators will actually mark only on the computer itself. And result is compiled instantly. So just to add to what the slide shows here, Many of those activities that you want to do on paper and you're not going to do, you will get to do on computer. And highly, highly sophisticated in the sense, it does not replace, and let me repeat, it does not replace the teacher. The system does not replace the assessor. No. And this applies only to descriptive papers, whereby you say math, science, physics, Literature, whatever it may be, descriptive <coughs> type of examination only, not online. And the teachers are still required as they are required in the current system. Marks, actual marks are allocated by teacher only, by reading 